Hello, I'm Tim Pennington, editor of Products Finishing Magazine. Today I'm here with Brad Durkin from Coventia, who is chairman of the Surf and Technical Advisory Committee. Brad, welcome. First of all, can you tell us a little bit about what the Technical Advisory Committee does? Yes, the Technical Advisory Committee is an arm of the NASF that puts together the technical program for the surf in uh, sessions that take place during the different surf in shows. And we begin the process of looking at uh, the program in October of the prior year to the surf in taking place. So we uh, convene as a group of 15 people and there's a task group consisting of uh, Cheryl Clark from the NASF, also Hillary Legg and Keith Legg of Rowan Technology and myself. And we work together with the team to assemble what program we will have for the coming year and also what plans we will make for uh, looking at abstracts and how we set up the program. So Brad, can you tell us about the different tracks that are going to be at the show and also how is it that you pick the speakers for those tracks? That's a very good question, uh, Tim, yes. We uh, traditionally have uh, aerospace and defense, automotive, and advances in surface finishing tracks. These have been traditional to the core of the NASF and the TAC. What we try to do is expand on that a little bit depending on the location of where surf in will be. For example, traditionally we've had 11 technical sessions. Uh, in this case, for Surf in 2017 Atlanta, we will have 12 sessions, uh, essentially expanding the program because we received, when we made the call for abstracts, uh, we received 111 abstracts this year. Traditionally, we only have slots for 72. As a matter of that, and because of the overwhelming support of abstracts in that, we've increased the program to accommodate 84. So still, unfortunately, we have to get rid of some of those, and uh, it's a tough process. It's a challenge for the TAC, and we have implemented a voting process that uh, has a scoring associated with each abstract that helps select which abstracts are chosen. Also, in traditional past uh, surf in shows, we have TAC members that will go out and actually uh, define a program or a track. In this case, this year we've got some new tracks. We've got a research sustainability track that's new to us. Um, we've got a track on uh, technology performance. We've got a response to reach session this year. And we've also uh, incorporated some other uh, with electronic sustainability and other programs as well. So it's really defined depending on the abstracts we receive when we evaluate them or if a TAC member have uh, solicited certain abstracts for a different track. That's how we negotiate that uh, process. Brad, it seems like you have a lot of speakers, a lot of things going on. What tips would you have for people who come to the show on maybe what track they should select or if they're looking for a particular speaker or a topic? Yeah, that's a very good question. The tracks are concurrent, so the best advice is to look at the uh, Surfin NASF book that uh, comes with them when they register and pick out the topics of interest for them. For example, in one of the automotive session tracks, most of the papers, all the papers actually deal with zinc nickel technology. So if they're an applicator or someone that's interested in that technology track, they can define which, uh, which ones they want to see. Part of what the TAC does too is we look across all the different tracks to make sure that there aren't any topics that compete against each other. Uh, so in some sessions you might have papers on one type of technology. Also in another session, even though it's under an aerospace, it might be a similar technology, but we try to avoid conflicts when we have concurrent sessions. So it's one of the focus points of the TAC is to make sure we have enough available slots open for people so that they can define what tracks they want to see, what papers they want to actually sit in on. And we're very much focused on timing with these systems. So if a paper ends early, we wait until the next 30 minute interval before we start the next paper. So people have an opportunity to go in and out of each session and, and define the papers that they want to really listen to. 
So Brad, people who are coming to the show, uh, they can go to what website to get more information and what will they find out about the technical conference? Yeah, Tim, this year we're doing something a little bit different uh, with the NASF uh, website. We're actually publishing the abstracts, which we did last year as well, but in addition to that, we're putting the uh, biographical information of the authors also online. So that gives uh, attendees an opportunity to actually look at the credentials of that person giving the talk and it gives them an opportunity maybe to select uh, a topic based on the credentials of that author, which is a little bit different and I think better for this coming year. Well, thank you, Brad, for that information. Again, if you want more, you can get to nasf.org. We have all the track information and all the speakers. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you.